Never mind my very, very messy workbench, but this is a uh, something or other that I found, and <clears throat> I was really excited to see that I can understand the circuitry of it. What you've got here is something that spins, we'll call that the rotor, and then some stuff that stays, we'll call it the stator, and then here you've got brushes, there and there. And the fact that this has brakes in it, which means that the direction of current changes systematically through the course of a rotation. In fact, several times. It looks like there might be six or eight of these. So this is called a commutator, and the fact that it's a commutator and not slip rings contacting the brushes means that the circuit's current has to change mechanically, which means it's designed to use DC circuits, uh, uh, a direct current, right? Um, and so I uh, looked underneath here. Underneath here, we've got ourselves a little bit of the old uh, places to contact. And what's really fun is actually connecting the ground here when I'm at 12 volts, because it does spin, as you'll see. You'll also hear something. <laughs> So it's drawing about seven amps when it spins. That's a pretty high current, and I don't think it's intended to be used for a long period. But if you wanted to freak out some people, then uh, you could definitely turn that on. Another thing that's interesting to note about this is that when it spins, it makes a little click. Listen. And that is only a result of systematically causing something to click a diaphragm in here. There's a nice kind of resonant tone that comes from this uh, tube also. Listen to this. It sounds kind of like a speaker cone uh, that's been well designed here. So this, this guy right here, this channel is allowing us to um, get some high volume and direct that sound to the people who need to, I guess, get freaked out when this gets 12 volts. So anyway, I just thought this was really fun and that I would share it. It looks like there are no permanent magnets here. We're getting a magnetic field from this one and a magnetic field from this one. And I would imagine that that field, based on these guys right here, there's basically Helmholtz coil designs. This one's making a magnetic field along its axis. So let's just say it's to the left for some of the time. And uh, it might also be to the right, who knows. But then inside of here, it looks like we've got a whole bunch of different windings. And the ones then that would be properly oriented to get torque are the ones that are turned on via this commutator right here. So you see that they're, the windings are all angled relative to one another such that every time the current changes direction, we maximize that torque again, get a 90 degree angle between the field and the changing coil inside of it. So basically, this magnet right here hates that magnet right there just enough, and then just as soon as it gets out of full hatred, you're getting down here and switching the direction, or switching the coil, which is activated by the commutator. And you can see that, that connection right here. This is, this is just a super cool motor to look at uh, and connected to a little bit of uh, siren history is also fun. Okay, bye.